This is HuffPost Live. I'm Ricky Camilleri. From domestic spying to foreign dirty wars, drones have been subject to a heaping amount of controversy. And now they're the subject of another kind of controversy. I wish we had the X-Files theme to play there when I said that. Extraterrestrial controversy. As drones become more and more common in our skies, more and more people have begun mistaking them for UFOs. Let's take a look at an incident. Now joining me on set to talk UFOs and drones, and where the two of them meet and don't is HuffPost weird news reporter and UFO expert Lee Spiegel. Lee, thank you so much for being here. Well, thank you, Ricky. Hey, you know what I hate about that video? What? I hated it since the moment I saw it. It's a 26-second long video. If this guy saw something that looks exactly like a flying saucer rising up from the trees, and he zooms in on it, he then suddenly zooms out, and then suddenly hands the, over, the, right? And the video's gone. Like, I'm sorry, what? What, what did we just not almost see? Right. Well, that's what you were talking about that earlier. I feel like every time there's a UFO sighting or, or a Bigfoot sighting, the person who sees it has no idea how to use a camera. They never know how to use cameras for some reason. Or they know exactly what they're doing because it's all been staged. Right. Absolutely. So let's you talk know? about this, this, this people mistaking drones for UFOs. How often are we seeing this? And what actually was uh, happening in that video? All that was actually happening was it was a, a minor league baseball game up in Vancouver, Canada, back in September, uh, was either September or, or August, and and there was a big crowd there, and someone happened to see something or knew he was going to see something, and knew that it was going to look exactly like a, a flying saucer because it was created to look like a flying saucer by a local science center in Vancouver who wanted people to see this thing mm -hmm. because they were opening a new planetarium and. How how better to get people to come to their planetarium than to show something amazing. Mm -hmm. and, and the problem with, with the drones, it's like drones are the bane of ufology now. Mm -hmm. Because for decades, all the people could look up into the sky and wonder about were planets, the moon, meteors, swamp gas, balloons, uh, satellites, and everybody was mistaking for UFOs. Now we've got drones. And the thing about drones is, it's not that they look like UFOs, you can make them look like UFOs. You can go to like a local hardware store and for not a lot of money, you can pick up the, <laughs> the materials that you need, few electronics and plugs, th th throw a few lights around it, get a little remote control and send these things up there very easily if you just want to make people go crazy. You sound like you're, you're actually kind of worried that people are, are alarming others that, that there may be UFOs in the sky with, 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 their, fake dr with their drones that they're oh, making. Oh yeah, because for, for years now, until the drone thing started happening, we had and still do have a daily influx of UFO videos all over the internet. And now you have even more? Oh, now we have even more because now people are getting onto the idea, oh, for a few dollars, I can actually make a UFO, fake a lot of people out, call it in as a sighting and become, you know, get my 15 seconds of fame. Are, are, are you, are you the, the lone man fielding these, these UFO calls, Lee? <laughs> No, <laughs> no, so no. exasperated by them. No, it, it, it's because there's so much, much better right. stuff out there to consider, to look at, that scientists, serious scientists are investigating things that, that we, we don't really need, we shouldn't take the time right. for the garbage that's out there, but people want to believe in everything they see that they don't understand when they first see it. Talk to me about military drones and how they actually play a part in this, because we're kind of initially talking about toy drones, drones that, you, drones that you can sort of makeshift yourself in your garage with parts from a hardware store, but what about drones that are being flown by the military? Well, there's actually a center in, uh, in Maryland that, that uh, tests new unmanned drones that are created by the military, and they test them there, and, and recently one was actually, uh, it caused a lot of uh, traffic on the, uh, the Beltway in Washington because it was, it was put on top of a, the back of a truck, and, mm -hmm. and, and it was brought along the, the Beltway, and people were, for days, it was, what was that, what was that? But it was actually a, a drone, and people, people can't get under their skin 
again that, that these things may not have been created or may have been created at Area 51 in Nevada, mm -hmm. you know, where, where we know now, now that we, we've been told by the CIA that, yes, there really is an Area 51. We're looking at a picture of it, a satellite image right now. Uh, for, for decades, the government actually denied this place existed, and yet most people knew that it was there because there was satellite uh, uh, imagery available of it. But they only recently uh, admitted that at Area 51, this was where the United States developed all of the, the high-altitude spy technology, the U-2, stealth fighters. Why not drones? Why not the initial drones? They needed a place where, where they, were, they were surrounded by mountains, where they keep citizens away, where they could test the stuff out. Right. But people wanted to get close to the perimeter because people wanted to see all the flying saucers from outer space that theoretically they were testing there. But instead, they saw all these stealth technology aircraft, including probably drones. Right, which then they thought were UFOs. So what do you yeah. say to someone at this point, since you're, since you're getting so many more uh, calls, so many people are writing more about seeing UFOs, what do you say to people at this point who think that they may have seen a UFO? Don't get crazy. Don't believe everything <laughs> you think you saw or your, or your neighbors or your friends tell you you thought you saw, because literally four to five percent of every UFO sighting or report can be easily explained if you give it a chance to be Four explained. to five percent? Oh, yeah. It's a small percent. Yeah, it, it's, it's a small percent because everything else... I mean, there's so much stuff in the sky all around us. There are daylight sightings, there are nights, nighttime sightings, but you know, you shoot off like a, a mylar balloon, and it gets high enough in the atmosphere, even with a with like a zoom lens, it'll look like something that maybe came from a mother ship mm -hmm. from another planet. Well, don't just automatically assume that that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Ask around, talk to some other people, make a few phone calls, but certainly don't spread the word or spread the rumors that that you know we were just subjected to UFO reports last night because probably you weren't. Mm -hmm. Lee Spiegel, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Ricky. Talking to us about drones and UFOs and how the two go together. You guys are watching HuffPost Live. Stick around. There's more coming up next.